Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic medium. Thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Listen, a few days ago, I asked you for questions about uh, political, your political questions, and here we are, and I'm here today to answer them. Um, I just did this video and it didn't record, so we'll see how it goes the second time. Um, anyway, I also want to mention you may see a little redness in my eye, which I'm aware of. I just got a little something in it and it decided it did not like that. So that's what's going on there. So let me get to your questions. Now, I got these questions from my community page. So if you go to my main channel, uh, my where all my videos are, you'll see a line of uh, like a tabs and one of those will say community channel. And that's when I ask for political questions, you can post yours there. And I will get to them. So today we have Jennifer Portis. Portis, one, and I apologize if I mispronounce your names. Please accept my apologies. Will the FBI director, Ray, resign? And will we get a female FBI director? Now, when we ask opening into questions like that, um, the universe, you're going to get kind of uh, maybe not the right answer. Will he resign versus... Um, being fired would be one question. Um, will he resign? Um, they're telling me he's working. He's working. Uh, they're not talking about him resigning. He's working. Um, I know he doesn't look like um, maybe the most trustworthy <laughs> uh, director we've ever had, but uh, they're telling me he's working. He's uh, instrumental. He's working. He's not going to resign. I'm getting, when I stop for a second like that, I'm getting new information. Um, right. In my video that didn't record, I talked about how we're in an, in an, we're living in an Orwellian time. Orwell is a science fiction writer uh, back in the day. And um, we've learned, we, we term things Orwellian to describe when things are just make no sense. For instance, the sky is on the ground and the ground is up above us, right? Um, nothing is double speak. I mean, everybody should read 1984. Everybody should read Orwell because you'll see we're living it, okay? Now, the reason that came up for me when I was talking about this is that they told me Ray was working, right? And then I saw briefly behind the scenes of him working. So, for instance, if you see a, a TV screen or a... Uh, they're showing me a movie screen that you'd pull down. Behind that, if we look behind that, there might be some things happening back there, right? There might be some little shady things happening, which I feel like is CYA, cover your butt. Um, now, the question is, will he resign next year? I'm hearing a no. I mean, you didn't ask, should he resign? <laughs> That's another question. That's why we have to ask questions. Should he resign, right? If we ask, should Ray resign? Should he resign? Is he not um, being above board? He should resign. He should. But he's not. I don't see him resigning. I don't see him resigning. No, I don't see him resigning. Again, in the video that just didn't record, I talked about how um, the former guy put all these people in place, like DeJoy, like um, just people throughout every administration, every department, you know, even departments that you would think, who cares, right? It's not a sexy department. They don't do anything. But yet there's two or three T people in there. You may have two or three bad people. One may be at the top, and you might have four really good people. But you, but it's hard for Biden to go in and know who's who and what's what. You know, the former guy went in and said, "You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired," and then he put in his people. And I know that because I have a client that worked in one of those departments where 
The, the director got fired and in comes this T person with no experience. Zero. And proceeded to just wreck everything from the inside. So th this is this is what we're dealing with, okay? So, um, I, I mean, you I don't know that you guys have asked this, but I, I feel like this is where Biden is really having trouble because he's a middle-of-the-road guy, middle-of-the-aisle. I'm going to go down the middle of the aisle. I've got my Republicans. I've got my Democrats. I'm going to work across the aisle. Folks, those days are over. <laughs> he needs to stand up. He needs to grow a pair and stand up. And that's why his popularity ratings are slipping, especially in regards to the V and the Delta. Um, and this is one of those things. He needs to just get in and toss Ray out. Um, but I do think that, I do want to say this. There is a level of genius that's working here with, with Biden. He is laying traps for people and he's letting them pull as much rope as they want before they hang themselves. Because he feels like the more rope they pull, the less they're going to get out of it. The less opportunity for them to slide out of it, to get out of it. So that's one of the reasons why he's doing this, why he's taking so long to, you know, charge or fire these people so when i first said ray is working yes he is working um and he is working for biden but he's also uh, i i feel like biden is using him um, that's what i feel like i feel like biden is using him because ray is contacting these deep um these um what do you call it when you have a, a, like a double agent right they would be a double agent because they were these people in these places where Ray is contacting them. They were for uh, the T, but now they're working for Biden. So they're not really representing the federal government anymore. They've gone rogue. And I feel that Biden is using Ray. So that's interesting. That's something I didn't know before. Um, the MU virus is going to be a problem. It is certainly going to be a problem. It's going to be deadly. Um, and, and what I said in my other video, and I'll stop saying this because I'm not bitter, uh, that I did a whole hour long video and it didn't record. But anyway, what I said in the other video was, um, viruses to be successful, they need to not kill their host. <laughs> you know, the cold doesn't kill you. The flu kills very few of us and that's why it's successful. That's why it's constantly living. It lives on to go to a new person, right? So that's where Delta got a little too deadly and, and it's not going to be successful. The MU is too deadly. It's not going to be successful. But the original C1 that I have to be careful about talking about, um, that one is going to be successful. It's going to stay it's going to learn, okay? They're telling me it, it, mutating is learning, right? If you mutate and you're too deadly and you die off, well, that's Dar Darwinian, right? You, you didn't do a good job. Your species didn't survive. But if you mutate and you're staying alive long enough to keep your virus going, then you're successful. So um, it's going to be a problem for us because it's going to cause a lot of... Um, of us to cross over, but it won't last very long. And that's how I see about Delta. I see Delta going up, 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 and then going down, 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 because the virus itself cannot be that deadly. It can't, it won't survive. It won't survive to pass itself along. Um, yes, Glenn Kirshner is absolutely JLo. You're right. Jen Kirshner is the person to watch on YouTube. He's a retired um, prosecutor. Um, federal prosecutor, and he also is talking about uh, later. You'll see here a question about the cell phones and um, that mess, and some of the the twelve politicians saying you can't give this information to uh, the DOJ. You'd be breaking the law. Well, Glenn Kirshner says they are breaking the law because it's an ongoing investigation, and they're meddling in it. So he's saying they should be charged. So yes, watch Jen Kirshner's very good. Kirshner, uh, Glenn Kirshner, K I R S C H N E E R. Um, Will Iowa's uh, Marg L wants to know Will Iowa's governor win election in 2022? Will the legislature go blue? 
Will Iowa's governor win re-election? Ooh, that was a close. That's close. Uh, will Iowa's governor win re-election? I'm getting a yes, but I don't know why I was getting a no, too. Um, maybe that was the second part of the question. <laughs> when you ask a two-part question, they give me both answers, and I forget. It was a two-part question. Okay, will the legislature go blue in Iowa? Will the legislature go blue? There's a very good chance right now. I mean, listen, there's a lot of time between now and 2022. And um, we all are going to make the difference in that free will, right? What do we do? How do we campaign? How do we donate? How do we make phone calls? How do we get visible? Okay, so I feel yes, but if we don't do anything, then no. <laughs> but if we do something, yes, it's there for us to take. Um <laughs> Tina, Tina Mexico wants to know, will the Christian Taliban ever change their ways? These people have in, been indoctrinated and infiltrated since the 80s. This is not new. They, this didn't just happen. And somebody said this on, um, I don't know whose channel it was, but it was a comment. And it, and it, and it struck me because it's absolutely true. Um, I grew up in the city in Louisville, Kentucky, um, which is a mid-sized city, but my dad should have been a farmer. I mean, he just should have been. He, he was not a city kid. Um, and he listened every day to the farm report on the radio. And the farm report uh, talked about, you know, what hog sales were, blah, blah, blah. And then when that was over, he listened to AM radio, okay? And uh, usually it was innocuous, fun stuff. And then what happened to AM radio? Right? The right wing took over the AM radio. And now, not only my dad in Mid-City Louisville, but all those places, Redville, Iowa, Idaho, Colorado, Mississippi, Kentucky, Tennessee, all these places in the middle of the country that people are just listening to their AM radio are now getting fed Rush Limbaugh constantly. That's what they listen to all day. That's what my dad would do. Working in his shop, he would listen to the radio. They've been indoctrinated since then. You couldn't get any programming on an AM station that wasn't right wing. That's when the indoctrination started. Then you had Fox News. So they, when the, when the people stopped listening to the radios and started watching their TVs, guess what happened? Fox News appeared on TV. Just keep that feeding of that terrible misogynistic you know, racist crap. So, um, what they've shown me is, and I know this is far out, but in eight years to 12 years, America is going to change dramatically. Now, it's not just you're going to wake up and, and it's changed. You and I are going to change it. We're, there's going to be a lot of teeth gnashing, a lot of uh, you know, protest, a lot of even rioting, um, a lot of discomfort. Think about the 1960s. How much discomfort was there to be able to integrate schools? How many people put their lives on the line? How many people got beat, bit by police dogs, arrested, killed? This is... This is what we're going to have to go through. We don't have a choice because they're pushing us to this place where we have to stand up. So when we stand up to the Christian Taliban, we'll be changing America's vibration for the better and ascending into that next dimension. What does that mean? It means that we have health care. I think we're going to have Medicare for all. I think that's going to be something that's coming towards us. We're going to stop eating so many animals. That's got to stop. This, this mass slaughtering of animals. I'm not a vegetarian. I want to be. I could be a donutitarian. I could be a cheesitarian. 
but I'm not a vegetarian. But I'm I'm really being pulled towards that because back in the day, animal was grown and harvested. This is different. It's just mass killing. We're not even eating all the meat. It's terrible. Anyway, this is part of our consciousness raising. Okay, and it's going to take 10 to 12 years. And it's going to be dicey. It's going to be dicey during that time. But during that time is when we're going to learn our lessons. It's like what I said before. I realized I wasn't being recorded. Pain. Where is your pain point? America. Okay, you had this much pain. Did they learn? Oh, they worked around it. They ignored it. They dealt with it. Here's some more pain. Did they learn? Nope. They worked around it. They ignored it. They, 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 they dealt with it. They accepted it. Here's some more pain. Oh, starting to get really painful. I don't know. We've got some people uncomfortable, unsettled. People are getting ready to start acting. When will we, when will we fight back? Right? And, and this is what they showed me. You guys, we need visibility. If we, you know, this is what they want. This is so many parallels to what I've been through in the last three months. They want us knocked off of our center. They want us knocked off of our energy center. What, what does that mean? It means that we're confused. We're tired all the time. We've retreated into our houses because we're afraid of the V. I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying this has happened to me too. But we're at a point where we can't let that happen anymore because when you're visible, things happen. It's like what I said earlier about that pipeline. I don't know if that was on this video. This what that wasn't on this video. Um, you have to be visible. When we stand up and we have a placard that says, January 6th must go through. Hold them accountable. If you stand up and do that and you get on TVs everywhere, then people can start having conversations. Wow, did you see that big protest in LA? They had 10,000 people. Oh my God, did you see that big protest in St. Louis? They had 5,000 people. Did you see that huge protest in DC? They had 20,000 people all saying they want January 6th people held accountable. We start talking about it to each other. It becomes part of our daily lives. And that's how we deal with things. We hear about something, we call a friend. Did you hear about this? Did you see this? Right? But it can't just be one protest. It's got to be every week. It's got to be in their face every week. Now, we have a women's protest march coming up on October 2nd, I think it is. We're, they're going to have them everywhere. And, and again, I said too, back last fall when people are protesting, I thought, I don't want to get out there because I don't, I'm afraid of the virus, right? I'm afraid that I'll get it. So I think we're at that point where we have to just say, if I have to march 10 yards from you, then that's how we're going to have to do it. If I have to put on three masks and goggles, that's how we're going to have to do it. And of course, we're going to be vaccinated. That's how we're going to do it. We can't keep laying down. We can't. And who's going to start this is the doctors. And this is what the guides said months ago. The doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers are going to be the first people to stand up. And they already have. 75 doctors walked out of the hospital and stood there for 15 minutes. And it got airtime all across the country. But they only did it once. They need to do it every day. We're too short-sighted. If we see something one time, it's gone from the news cycle in an hour. We need it all the time. You know, in Texas, Texas is paying nurses to come in from other states, and they're paying millions and millions of dollars for this. Meanwhile, they can't ask students to wear a mask. But yet, Republicans are fiscally conservative. But yet, they're going to pay Workers to come in because our nurses and doctors are, have had it. They're tired. They're sick. They're quitting. They're refusing to work. Which is a terrible thing because they take an oath to heal people. 
pain level, pain level, pain level. Okay? So that's what's happening with the Christian Taliban. Um, I saw something really quickly. With Pioneer, MS Pioneer Girl wanted to know, um, what do I see about Afghanistan, the withdrawal of the troops? Will, will that harm or help Biden? Nefarious dealings um, with Trump and Pompeo. Um, Trump has so many charges coming out against him, they don't even need the Afghanistan charges. Um, I'm going to talk to you. I just got a hit about Afghanistan, and that was that Afghanistan is tribally controlled, right? This this tribe, this tribe, this tribe. Now, of course, the Taliban supposedly controls the whole country, except they don't. They, we found that out. Now we have ISIS-K or whatever they are. They don't control jack nothing, okay? Um, number one. Number two, there's trillions of dollars worth of rare minerals ore in Afghanistan that certain countries, well, all countries, want a piece of. They need that. It's, it's, it's used for our batteries and things that we need going forward into the next 20 years. So um, what they showed me was um, the Afghans, uh, the Taliban doesn't know how to govern. And, that, and they've, they've admitted that. They don't know what the, to do. Um, and you have the Taliban supposedly creating a centralized government. But what I saw was um, people like China and other countries, Russia, they don't, they're trying to wait for a centralized government. They're hoping for a centralized government, if only so that they can get their hands on this stuff. But I don't think the centralized government's going to happen. I think you're going to see w civil war within there. Um, and I think that uh, what what's going to happen is that um, it's going to be decentralized government, right? So I think that the area that has the ore is controlled by one particular tribe. And what I see happening is other countries coming in um, now, when I say other countries, what I really mean is like Blackwater, like um, mercenaries, but paid for by other countries, coming in to protect that area so that countries like Ukraine and Russia can buy it and sell it to China. Because China shows me white gloves. They don't want to be involved directly with this criminal or the, this mess, but they want that ore. So they're, they're happy to have somebody like Blackwater protect the mine. Um, so in other words, what I see is more tribal infighting. Um, and I see a lot of countries trying to get that money, uh, trying to get that ore. Um, and Anita Font or Fonte is saying, um, who do I see running, winning New York governor in 2022? De Blasio says he's considering, but you've had a, enough of his last minute actions. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, could that happen? Um, they showed me. Maybe she's just involved. All of a sudden, I saw Hillary Clinton. Maybe she's just involved. Uh, can she even run for governor? Does she live there? Will Hillary Clinton run for governor of New York? Wow, I'm, I'm getting a yes. Okay, now I'm getting a no. Can she run for governor? Can can she run for governor? Yes. Okay. Will she run? There's that double question snafu. Will she run for governor? She's going to be involved. Whether she runs or not, she's going to be really involved. Um, she's going to come out. She's going to come out of her sort of... Um, hands off kind of uh you know in the background kind of person she's been wanting to give biden room to get things done um and um uh, and she also knows she's a lightning rod for them for the you know t the teepers um so how about de blasio de blasio de blasio how do you say his name uh-oh excuse me if there's a bunch of barking getting ready to happen okay de blasio 
Is he going to run? Right now, it's saying no. Now, of course, this is way off in the future, you guys. Uh, a lot can happen between now and then. But I see Hillary Clinton's face the minute I say the words New York and governor. So she's either going to be very involved in it or she's going to throw her hat in, this, in, this, in the thing. Um, Iowa. I think I read on Iowa. Iowa is uh, Governor Reynolds. I think I did read that that, that was a really strong case, a really strong um, is Iowa's governor going to win re-elected? Will Iowa's governor be re-elected? I feel like yes. I feel like yes. Uh, again, this is way far out, guys. Um, if she does something crazy between now and then, then no. But if she stays on her track, that if she can stay within the lines that she's been in, then yes, she, um, is going to be re-elected. Um, Jen Bing wants to know how Joe Biden will be perceived in history, and it, it, meaning how will his administration, I feel like he will be perceived as courageous. Uh, you know, I pot shot him a lot because I feel like he needs to grow a pair sometimes, but I also want to say that that he has a lot of genius behind what he's doing. He's, um, it's, it's as if you have a runaway uh, car down a mountain, and you have to be careful how you apply the brakes. You have to be careful. You can't just slam on the brakes and get things done. Stop the car. You actually have to manage it. Um, I think he'll be perceived very well. I think he'll be perceived as a hero. Um, I really do. Um, yes, uh, Susie and Philly wants to know what will be the effects of the new red election officials and election law changes in upcoming elections. Well, we, what they've done is they've um, they've done everything they can do, and and also made some of the election judges um, be able to do things that they shouldn't do. The federal the federal government's going to come in, and it, and um, what has to happen is that until now, um, states have control of how elections are run. Okay, now if a state screws it up. The government comes in, like Texas, like the South, and says, y'all have screwed it up. You've been discriminatory. Therefore, we're going to put you under these extra special provisions, and we're going to manage you and watch you more. And literally, we just got out of those restrictions. This was from the 70s, I think, or something. We literally just got out of those restrictions. We need to go back. The federal government needs to have more oversight over states with the uh, vote. And that's what you're going to see. This, the federal government are already, um, Biden has already come out and said that the DOJ would back up and represent any women that have been a part of this Texas abortion law. So again, you already see Biden using the DOJ to come in and help and change what states are doing. He will continue to do that as well. Um, here's a good question from RAS. Will Medicare age be lowered to 60? Uh, will this occur prior to or after the midterms 2020 second or much further down the road? I do see it being lowered. Um, I don't know what it is now, but I think they might lower it to 62. Is it 64 now? Um, There's two things happening. There's Medicare for all, which is also trying to be that there's there's energy around Medicare for all that's coming and um, energy around this Medicare uh, to 60. Now, what I had seen earlier was that um, corporations do a little quid pro quo. Remember that little action or a little horse trading with the Democrats and say, uh, we're willing to allow you to have Medicare lowered, Medicare age lowered, and we're willing to allow you to have Medicare for all. However, we want you to give us something with the corporate taxes. Because right now, of course, we're trying to raise the corporate taxes. So I feel like that's this is going to be some horse trading happening. Um, and uh, of course, we need the corporate taxes raised to be able to pay for this. Uh, but I do see... 
Medicare for all coming. I see that in the next three years, um, which I think is a really big deal. And if not sooner, in the next three years, if not sooner, Medicare age lowered to 60. Um, I keep hearing yes and no. And that's confusing. When that happens, it usually means that it's being fought. It will be fought over and maybe the outcome is not exactly 100% sure. Um, will the Medicare age be lowered to 60? I think there's a good chance of that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, will and Spiritual Seeker 583 wants to know, will Kevin McCarthy get jailed or in trouble for his comments to the phone companies, bullying them into not releasing the phone records or else will they be taken to task by him and the Republican Party? This is the thing that, that Glenn Kirshner talked about. Um, these big dummies um, actually wrote a letter to a who they thought was the CEO of one of those companies and who had actually been gone for four years. This, this shows you how inept they are that they wrote a, a letter to a CEO that's no longer the CEO by four years. Um, by doing that, uh, Glenn Kirshner says they have, they have impeded an investigation and they should be charged. Now, why aren't they being charged? Why do they get to break all these laws and never get charged? You know, it's like the Democrats are as scared of those crazy Trumpers as the, as the politician Trumpers are. Everybody's scared. They're the bullies. Nobody wants to make them upset. So, um, will McCarthy get in trouble? Will Kevin McCarthy get in trouble over the phone records? Will he get in trouble over the phone records? Boy, when I say trouble, I see a woman. Um, will, will he get in trouble over the phone records? See, I hate giving y'all bad news. I, I see no. No, he won't. Um, again, let's talk about the genius. Let's talk about Susan's very short-sighted, angry, let's slam on the brakes when we're going down the hill to stop the damn car. And Biden is like, we can't do it. We have to slow down slowly. We have to mind the curves. We don't want the car to go over the cliff. You know, Mr. Cautious. This is uh, his, his genius because... Again, imagine feeding somebody rope. Imagine the rope just, zzz, 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 you know, and that's Biden. Like, let them take as much rope as they want because when they get to the end, they're going to hang themselves. And, and the more rope they take, the more certain we are that they will hang themselves, right? So I think that's what's happening there. Um, it's extremely frustrating for me and it probably is for you too. I just want these people to be charged. I want this madness to end. I want to move on with my life. I know it's never going to be the same, but I want it to, I want to go back to go to whatever new normal, uh, the world, uh, the universe has ready for me. Um, Uh, Hyper Ledger wants to know, gerrymandering, a federal constitutional convention, guidance from the other side. Um, he wants, uh, or hy Hyper, whoever you are, wants uh, Molly Ivins and Governor Ann Richards to um, talk to me from the other side. I should just do a whole video on that because when I moved to Texas, um, God bless me, I was going for college. But anyway, Governor Richards was my governor, and I remember thinking, Hey, it can't be that bad. Look at this badass governor they have. Well, you know how long that lasted, right? Um, so I think I'm going to do a whole video where I talk to Molly Ivins and um, Ann Richards because um, I can't call them up and answer the rest of these. But um, suffice it to say that Ann Richards has some salty language that has to do with the nether parts of these men. Um, that's what she's saying right now. Um, okay. And I, I, I would love to bring in, um, I'm going to make a note. I would love to bring in, um, RBG and Ivans and, um, <clears throat> and Richards. That would be, I feel like having a drink, an alcoholic drink, um, right now. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, yeah, that would be a blast. Okay, next. Um, Tracy Godkin wants to know, will other red state legislatures succeed at passing legislation like that of Texas? No. This is the third rail. Texas touched the third rail and they're getting electrocuted. No, they, uh, this, I think, uh, even Mississippi, God bless you if you're from Mississippi and please don't take any offense. Um, but I think that even other states um, that would like to do a Handmaid's Tale thing are realizing this was a mistake. Um, they have woken up women everywhere, and now we're really, really getting pissed. Um, so, you know, no, I don't see that happening. Um, Amy Smith wants to know, when will the soft infrastructure bill be passed in the Senate? It's the reconciliation bill, and we need 50 Democrats plus Kamala. Um, the soft infrastructure bill be passed in the Senate. I haven't watched any news. I have no idea if it's already passed. I have no idea at all. Um, I think we need... Well, I, I, I commend you for saying when instead of if. <laughs> You're a very positive thinking person. Uh, when will this be passed? Will it be passed um, in September? Will it be passed in September? Not in September. I think the question that we should ask is when will it be signed by Biden? Will this bill be signed by Biden? Because that's the million dollar question, right? Is it going to pass both the House and the Senate and get to the White House? It Will it be signed by Biden? Yes. This bill will be signed by Biden. Yes. That's a good yes. Okay. Plus, I still have Ann Richards hanging around. Um, and um, will it be signed by Biden in November or by November? No. My God, please don't tell me we're going to drag this into the new year. Um, will it be signed on or before December 31st? Will it be signed on or before December 31st? On or before? Yes. Yes. So it's going to be signed before the end of the year. Hallelujah and praise the Lord. Okay, now, I mean, you know, we could get into the fine details of Mansion and all that, but let's just cut to the chase. Um, it, it's going to get signed. Um, Texas is blue. Uh, Quinn E. wants to know, will Texas ever turn blue? Texas is blue. They did uh, their election ballot voter um disenfranchisement and voters didn't get counted we didn't we didn't get uh the turnout let me give you an example um in texas when i if i was to change my address okay i would go to my dmv and get a new driver's license with a new address all i have to do is check a box and it automatically updates my voting um card okay so when you get a new driver's license, you can just get a new voting card. Okay, now they changed that. So now when I changed my address, uh, I there's no box to check. I have to go out of my way to re-sign myself up to vote. How many of us are going to forget and miss that deadline? A whole, even if it's 1%, even if it's a half a percent, that's a half a percent less Democrats that are going to vote because who moves more often? Democrats. Who moves more often? People of lower socioeconomic uh, means. Right? So, um, it's, it's uh, yes, we are already blue. Um, but we will go more blue. We are going more blue. Um, KR wants to know, will the Georgia Governor Kemp win another election or are we finally rid of him next time around? Is Kemp I feel like Kemp is out. I feel like Kemp is out. There's more. Um, there's more scandal coming for him. Um, 
Julie P. wants to know, the Arizona gubernatorial election is in 2022. Katie Hobbs D. is running against Governor Ducey R. Will Katie Hobbs win the 2022 Arizona Again, it also depends, guys. We can't stay in our homes. I know we're scared. I know we're scared of this thing running around, but we can't. We've got to get out and work. I can predict this stuff, but if we don't get out and work, it's free will. Okay? So if people get out and work, is Katie going to win Arizona? Is Katie going to win Arizona? It's really close. Right now, it's really close. Um, really close. Too close to call right now. But she can win. The, the thing I need to tell you is she can win. The votes are there. It's all about turning the tide. You know, they're so visible. They get out there with their signs. They get out there with their placards. They're in your face. It's obnoxious. It's, it's distasteful, right? We find it distasteful. Well, you know what? Who cares if we find it distasteful? We have to get out there. We have to get in front of people. We have to be visual. We have to be visible all the time, not just once, twice. Every week, we have to do the work. Um, Yeah, Jennifer Portis wants to know um, about Pence, Vice President Pence, and did he know about the, the insurrection? Did he know about it beforehand? Uh, she says she has a feeling that Pence knew what was coming, but didn't think it would be that bad. I agree with you, Jennifer. He knew that, that this man, the T, the former guy, had something planned, but... He never would have, well, actually, I, I just got a lot of different things right there. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, as we know, Pence didn't like him. He didn't respect him. Um, there was no love between them. And um, Pence did know something was happening, but he had no idea that it would go to this level. And to be honest with you, the, the former guy didn't know. He was, he was happy to see it, but he didn't know that there would be gallows out there in the parking lot either or in the mall, wherever that was outside of the Capitol. Um, so um, neither one of them knew exactly what shape it was going to take, but... Um, Yes, he did know about it, and he should pay for his role in it, in that I don't care what anybody says. Um, okay, so um, Danielle Hess wanted to know about the resettlement of the Afghan refugees. There, there, a lot of them have come here, a lot of them have gone to other countries, and now the Taliban wants to keep them in Afghanistan, it doesn't look good for them to have their citizens trying to flee. So um, the women are standing up right now in Afghanistan. And this is what I'm saying. When I think I talked to you guys about the Civil Rights March, right? We, we Americans have to be willing to stand up and, and be arrested or be whatever. Because we need to show people what's happening. And that's what these women are doing in Afghanistan. Their, their pain level is over to, to the point where they're reacting. They're doing something. Um, they're not going, the Taliban isn't going to let any more escape. They're going to try to keep them there. Um, Victoria Cleary wants to know about uh, Joe Manchin and Kristen Cinema. And somebody asked the same question further up. Um, here's the thing I've seen Kristen Cinema getting recalled. I've seen her getting recalled. The energy is building. Um, 
I feel like she might be recalled. I don't think Joe Manchin is going anywhere. His constituents like him. His constituents think that he sticks his finger in the eye of the Democrats and he sticks his finger in the eye of the Republicans and therefore he sticks his eye in the finger of the man. And they like that. They like it. <laughs> these, these people are so destitute that they're so mad at every administration. Not one administration has come into that state and helped them. Not one. And so they're done. They're ready for somebody like Joe Manchin that just says this to everybody. That's what they're ready for. So um, they're not going to send him packing. Um, I read about the KR. Uh, KR wants to know, will you be able to stop the number three pipeline? Um, he is, or They are saying a Canadian company is paying the local police to violently abuse the neg native uh, protesters, um, no. <laughs> Sadly, no, you're not going to be able to stop it. I Because I did this whole reading before, once already, um, where it didn't record. Where you are is isolated. I see it being isolated. I see big cities over here, big cities over there. I don't see a big city near you. You are isolated. That's working to your disadvantage. You need visibility. Uh, even Standing Rock, when they finally brought in the the... The movie stars that's when standing rock got visibility and it was finally shut shot down by a judge you need visibility this is the key to all these questions what do we do about Kristen cinema visibility what do we do about mcconnell visibility what do we do about january 6 visibility get out of our houses get in the street i know it's not safe wear five masks wear goggles and stay 10 feet apart if you're not visible, you're not part of the discussion. If you're not part of the discussion, nobody cares. They think nobody cares. So please be careful. I see a lot of violence. I, it's not good. It's not good. It's not worth fighting. This is not a win. This won't, you weren't, you're not going to win this. I'm sorry. My heart goes out to you. I'm sorry. Um, be smart, you know. Um, get visibility. Get a, get a movie star out there. You need protection. Please be careful. Um, Beverly S. wants to know, how can we as a collective help Texans with their distorted ideas, including clueless Floridians? Um, pain level, pain level. How many have to die? Right? That's that's all. That's it. You you hear about these people that cross over, and you hear about them on their deathbed, demanding that all of their family get vaccinated. The problem is there's so much. Um, um, it looks bad. There's, it looks bad if you died of COVID. People are asking the coroner to change the death certificate so that they're not judged. So the problem is that even though this person says to their family, go get vaccinated, the family isn't taken to the airwaves. Visibility. Remember, we're talking about visibility over and over again. We need one of those families to get on, on, on local TV and say, it didn't have to be this way. My husband asked me to do this. My, my husband asked me to get on TV and, and ask you guys to get vaccinated. It doesn't have to be this way. Until we start having that, no, it's not going to change. It's not going to change. But that's why we have Delta and the MU version now. Because it will change. We will get to the pain point. We're going to get there. Um, it, it, you know, hit rock bottom. When people hit rock bottom, they change, right? People always say that about addicts, right? You have to hit rock bottom. Well, I feel like Americans have hit what we thought were rock bottom and then the floor fell out <laughs> and we dropped some more. So we just haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, Ellen uh, Galinsky wants to know why are groups of people like evangelicals so locked into cruelty? And that is because organized religion is based on fear. Fear of a God that would have his wrath be upon you. 
It was a way of controlling an uncontrollable, uncivilized people. Look at the Taliban. How do they control their people? You know, it's fear, right? Evangelicals control you by fear. Fear is cruelty. That's why they're cruel. They need you to stay in this line because they need to control you. Um, it's for your own good, right? It's for your own soul. Uh, that BS. Um, D Jasmine uh, LP wants to know, will the DOJ or other authorities start to do something with the people who have been threatening and actually harming school board members, school board employees or school employees, administrators, just workers over the mask requirements? Again, you see the DOJ getting involved because the DOJ has gotten involved and said, if you're a woman in Texas and you've been subjected to this ridiculousness with this bounty business, we will represent you. The DOJ will come down to Texas and represent you. What did I say earlier? The DOJ is going to get involved in states voting because states are not, it's not fairness in voting. Yes, the DOJ is going to get involved in school districts through the FBI in regards to these terroristic threats. Now, the problem is, as I mentioned before, the former guy put people in various places, in various departments, also in the FBI, also in the CIA, and certain offices... Whereas, let's say the Houston office might be pretty good and might be following Biden's lead, you might find that another office uh, in another state in another city is not. So even though the DOJ is going to say, we want to investigate terroristic threats made against school employees, be whatever they are, certain offices will not do that. So you need to understand that. People will go around. So if you have a problem in your school district that over a, a terroristic threat and, and Biden says, we want to investigate that, please contact us. And you contact your local FBI department agency and they don't do anything, go around them. Go over their head. But use careful, be careful because you still live in that community. They're all. This is the problem with bullies. Everybody's a bully, right? Everybody associated with the former guy is a bully. And so what's happened is we have shrunk back. We shrunk down. We've got to stop doing that. We've got to stand up. We have to stand up. We have to be visible. So if you're being bullied in your school district, stand in front of your school district and say, I was bullied. Be visible. Get on TV. Let your message get out. It's the only way we're going to fight this. The only way we're going to fight this. Locally, be visible. Be visible in whatever way you can, but be careful. Um, you know, use your phone to record things. Uh, go over the head of people. Go to a higher rank uh, FBI person. Um, be your own advocate. Advocate for your friends and your family and your coworkers. Anybody who's being bullied, advocate for them. Stand together. We all need to stand together. One person can't do this by themselves, and they won't. If you stand up to a bunch of bullies and you're the only one standing, pretty soon you're going to sit down. So we all need to help each other. Um, <clears throat> these really long questions are hard to read on here and answer. Um, Judith uh, Gash uh, said that she had an experience when she was five years old. She said that she was in space and she saw a beautiful planet with rings around it. And she says it was so colorful and beautiful. And she's asking, was this an out-of-body experience or was she taken by ETs? It's something she's never talked about with anybody. She's never mentioned it to anybody. This is the first time she's mentioning it. What I see, Judith, is thank you for sharing this experience because by you sharing it, other people might have had the same experience and now they can learn something about their experience. Again, it's about visibility. This seems to be the, t the whole theme of this reading. Um, what I see, Judith, is two things. You were looking at home. You were five years old. Um, you're a star seed. You're a star person. Um, and you were thinking about your home. 
you were wondering about your home. Some of us know this isn't our home. Like I just, this doesn't feel like home to me. I don't know where my home is, but this doesn't feel like home. So I feel like what I'm seeing you as a five-year-old is that you are asking to go home and you had a moment where you were teleported there and you could see it. And they also did this at that time for a reason. And that is because when we go into school, we're indoctrinated. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but we're indoctrinated with all of the social norms. And, and, ta and talking about this stuff is not acceptable. So from that point on, you probably really closed off that part of you. But they wanted to get this to you before that happened. They wanted to give you this experience before you closed it off. And I feel like that is why they showed it to you. I think that is your home. You were seeing it from your the planet that you're from, or you were seeing it from the spaceship or whatever. Um, you were looking at home. Um, so I hope that helps for you. Um, this is not uncommon, Judith. I don't want you to feel like you're an a oddity or something. This is very common. It's much, much more common than you know. Um, so um, I just think it's uh, wonderful that you were able to share that with us. So thank you. Um, Lori, Joe, I'm going to try to shorten your question. I don't really, I, I get it. We're just, we're venting to a degree, right? Um, but you're saying it feels as though the universe is really making it obvious that we cannot control other people or circumstances. These are painful lessons. Do the guides of the people with hardened hearts have a collective plan to ease our discomfort? No, they don't have a collective plan. They don't have a collective plan. We are the collective plan. We make the decisions. This earth is a free will earth. They draw the line at us blowing each other up and the planet up with nuclear weapons. And that's it. That's the only time they've ever got involved. Um, our collective consciousness is, back to the pain thing, um, when, are, when have we had enough? When have we had enough? You guys, there's more of us. There's more of us than there are of them. There's more people who are willing to be open-hearted and loving than there are of them. They are more vocal. They are more visible. They are bullies. It's our, apparently, it's our lesson to learn how to deal with bullies. It's our lesson to learn to stand up to bullies. It's our lesson to say, we're not going to send our kids to school without masks just because you think so. The whole school has an anti-nut policy where not one peanut or any kind of sandwich that was made in the kitchen that had a char of peanut butter on the counter <laughs> cannot come into this school because we value our kids and we don't want that one child that has a nut allergy to go into anaphylactic shock. We care about everybody. But tomorrow, all of you come without mask because... We don't care. I mean, it's the Orwellian thing. It's the Orwellian thing of confusion. Nothing is right. Nothing is where it should be. Skies down below. The earth is up above. Right? Confusion, confusion. So, yes, our lesson is to stand up for love, to stand up and be visible, to stand up and say this isn't right, to stand up and say we want accountability, we want these people held accountable and to get in front of the TV, to be on, to be broadcast across the country as saying, we're not going to put up with this, you guys. If we got out and marched, even if it's 10 feet apart, even if we marched with our arms out, even if we carried broomsticks, <laughs> right, across our shoulders so no one could get within our space and we wore three masks and goggles, wouldn't that speak volumes that we want action, that we're not going to put up with this? Right? We have to do this. We have to get visible. We just have to. Um, okay. Um, here's a question from Karen Anderson. Will the IRS be investigated for allowing the former guy to go all those years without paying a dime in taxes? 
my tax man told me that after three years you have to show a profit that's true after three years you have to show a profit or your business is just a hobby and you don't get to write off anything now why is the former guy getting to do this well because he has every harvard yale princeton trained accountant who can um undermine and and exploit the tiny little loopholes he's not going to be the irs is not going to be investigated okay the irs is like the government is like the president it's not going to be investigated now can it be changed yes um i feel like um the irs i feel like in the next five or six years if not before the irs will be changed in the sense that when it comes to corporations they will try to make it so that it's a flat tax so that there's no way um if you're a corporation you pay 23 percent 25 percent 28 percent whatever it is write the check just write the check we're not going to allow you to have deductions and and honestly we might go to a flat tax all the way across the board um there's pros and cons there's pros and cons i don't know that i'm for it but it's it's gotten out of control and it's clear it's clear that we cannot write laws or taxes that cannot be exploited so what how do we keep them from being exploited right maybe we need to have an exploitation law i don't know but um i don't think the irs is going to be investigated i think trump needs to be investigated um and i don't understand why he's not being charged and that's why we need to have signs on all our cars that say why isn't trump charged yet but what will happen we know the bullies the bullies will run us off the road the bullies will attack us they will and then what we call the fbi and the fbi doesn't do anything and the cops don't do anything because the cops are in that in that pocket of that of that group so what is our choice is our choice to just lay down and let this happen is that it is that what we're gonna do are we gonna do like the civil rights marches and get bit by dogs and water hose sprayed and beaten and killed and arrested for the simple right to be integrated into society for the simple right to ride on a bus any seat that they want to pick the simple right to walk up to a water fountain and use it and here we are complaining and here we are saying we can't deal with this anymore well guess what this is what we're going to have to do if you want this if you if you guys if we all want this we're going to have to be more active I'm so sorry, but that's the guides making me feel that. Um, it's our free will. It's up to us. What do we want? What do we want? Um, RAS asks, will Senator Sheldon Whitehouse's investigation of dark money in selecting the Supreme Court justices result in an outcome? Uh, yes, I think uh, Kavanaugh is going to go. And I see baseball. Why do I see baseball? Anyway, I see a baseball uh, stadium. A, a professional baseball field anyway um and i see uh a lot of us see amy coney barrett leaving the courts um through through health issues i see that uh something low in my abdomen area um whether whatever i'm not even going to go into that energy i also see thomas um going uh they're not going to i don't think they're going to face any laws i mean any any criminal any time they're not going to do time but they are going to step down they are going to have to leave um the two and one is a health issue uh b spirit says what can be done about joe manchin and kristen cinema again joe manchin's people love him kristen cinema's people are going to recall her is what i think um Here's a good question Linda Mack wants to know. Does Nancy Pelosi delve into the psychic or astrological? Um, you know, like, does she, does she have a, does she call the 1-800-PSYCHIC hotline? Well, I can tell you she's not a client of mine. Nancy, call me. Call me, girl. I got you. Okay. If you're watching this, Nancy, hi. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe. Um, no, for real. 
um, Nancy is uh, very much using that, and she's using psychic, astrological, and numerology. Um, but she has a close confidant that um, does this for her. So this confidant gets the readings, gets the information, passes it to Nancy. Nancy does not have a direct connection to these people. And really, it's not that, that out of the ordinary to think that this would happen because Ronald Reagan's wife had an astrologer. Uh, I think Betty Ford did too. Anyway, uh, several of those people had uh, astrologers basically on call. So um, it's not that unusual to think that she would be doing that. She is doing that for sure. Um, um, B Spirit also wants to know, when will DeJoy be fired? When will DeJoy be fired? When will be DeJoy be fired? I, that's me repeating that three times. Um, he has damaged the post office beyond recognition is very true. Um, I got uh, that he would be uh, resigning in spring. I'm sorry to say that he is not going before then. Um, originally, I thought he would go in, in December, but I think he's going in spring, which leads me to say also um, that the um, that charges are going to fly in the spring. I believe part of Biden's genius is to charge these people maybe in December or in January, February, so that it will go to court around the time of the midterms. Mic drop. So yes, I think um, DeJoy is going to be going along with the rest of those people when those charges start flying. Um, DeJoy will be going and he has done terrible, terrible work. Um, we're going to have to rebuild the post office from the ground up. Uh, I mean, literally. Literally, it's going to be overhauled. All of the, the whole idea of the post office, the whole idea of how it works is going to be overhauled. We're going to have different routes. We're going to have different mail sorting processing centers. They're going to reduce the mail sorting processing centers. Everything is going to be streamlined. It's going to, it's because it's been decimated from the inside out. From the outside, it looks normal. From the inside, it's, it's been decimated. <clears throat> um, yes, the uh, Ariana, Ariana Bellamy, Bellamy, wants to know if the new abortion ban is going to be uh, overturned. Yes, I believe it is going to be overturned. Absolutely. And I don't think any other states are going to join them. Equus333 says she's feeling a new, uh, this was four days ago, probably before the news about the MU hit. Uh, she's feeling a new VIRUS, not covered by the current vaccine. Yes, it's coming. Um, it's here and there's more to come, but they're super vir virulent. They're very deadly. So they're going to spin out. They're going to, um, create a big problem and then spin out. Like I said earlier, viruses have to be not deadly in order to survive long term. Um, she's also seeing a female governor for Texas. I saw a male Hispanic governor, um, I don't think it's the Castro brothers. I feel like it's somebody taller. Um, and I don't think it's Beto. Uh, Beto is going to be running for Senate. That's what they've been telling me for like six months. Is Beto running for Senate? Um, because, um, because he feels that he can better represent Texas on a national stage as a senator than he can do work as a governor. A governor is just very, you know, Texas oriented. He wants to get Texas out. He wants to make Texas a better state among the states. Um, I don't see a female governor for Texas. I don't think we're ready for that yet, but I do see a male Democratic Hispanic governor. We may have a female lieutenant governor, which would be great. Um, really good. Um, I don't know who that is, but I, I hope it's somebody coming soon. Um, so um, let me do one or two other questions. Um, the B Spirit also wants to know, the Republicans are taking over school boards and local governor, governments. Listen, guys, this happened when the religious right, when the Tea Party, uh, when Gin Gingrich, Gin Newt Gingrich was the one who said 
start in the school district, start in the school boards, work your way up, right? Um, he Because those are the voters. Those are the voters. So um, this has been going on for decades. And yes, we can change it, but we have to get involved. We have to run for our school district. We have to run for our city council. We have to run for um, everything. We, if, not, if you're not going to run, um, then really work hard to help others run. And I'll say this because I did this in the video that got deleted. Um, I was an Obama precinct chair. I worked my butt off for Obama. But Obama came and filled up stadiums and talked about hope and si si puede. We can. Yes, we can. What was his thing? Fired up, ready to go. Fired up, ready to go. Where's that? Where is that? We need someone that has the charisma that can come in and lead us. Right? Um, find that person in your community. Find electable people and work on them to run. And listen, support the hell out of them. If they're going to stand up to these bullies and they're going to get drugged through the mud, then they need us to stand next to them. Please don't leave these people by themselves. Don't leave them to be slaughtered. Stand up. Go to their meetings. Be their super fan. Help them. We all have a role to play. If you can't do that, write them a $5 or a $500 check. Whatever you got, do it. Get involved. Okay? That's how we have to do this. Um, and I think maybe one other question. Um, Or I'm going to say this. Look, Texas, look, it's it's going to turn. We're going to pick up seats in the in the house. We're going to pick up blue seats. We're going to pick up a seat in the Senate if not two, depending on how much we activate. Depending on how hard we work, we can pick up two se seats in the Senate. I feel like three seats in the house. We're going to give Biden something to work with. The tide is turning. There's more of us than there are of them. There's more of us. For Christ's sakes, you guys, Liz Cheney is on our side. Liz Cheney is on our side. We can do this. There will be a time when she won't be on our side. There will be a time when she's going to scare the living daylights out of me because she's going to be a formidable opponent. But right now she's on our side. So we can do this. We got this. We just have to claim it. We have to get visible. We have to get in front of cameras. We have to get in front of people. We have to make news. Because when we make news, the politicians look around and know they've got to do something. Look what happened to Standing Rock. As soon as the, as soon as the movie stars showed up and as soon as the journalists started getting arrested... The courts voted it down. But it took that. Write to... If, look, if you're a fan of a movie star, write to them. Write to them and say, why are y'all being so quiet? Get in front of this. Help us. You know? We need your visibility. Stand up for us. Help us, right? So I hope this makes sense. I hope it's answered some questions i hope it's um spurred you on giving you some energy and i just want to tell you how grateful i am i'm thankful to you and i'm grateful for you all thank you so much for your support of my channel it means the world to me i i want to be here to help you so please leave me comments let me know what i can do if i can answer any questions i'm happy to do that Wishing you guys big, big, big blessings. Take care and be safe. And we'll talk soon. For entertainment purposes only.